So the unit itself, uh, it's a medium temp CO2 transcritical uh, system. We call it affectionately within Danfoss Big Red. Um, if I can get a close up here, we're going to go over here. So as far as the construction of the unit, uh, it's used all around the world. So we've got a buck and boost transformer that lets us use either 460 volt uh, for the U.S. and North America, and then we can switch it over to 400 volt uh, for South America and the rest of the world that uses 380. If we move from there, inside our control panel here, we actually have three modes of operation. Uh, I want to make the point that all the components you see here aren't what's necessary for a small, medium temp transcritical CO2 system. It's just this top row, and then we have it three times. So the top row operates to just medium temp transcritical. We flip a selector switch. This will power down, and then the one below it powers up, and that's medium temp transcritical with parallel compression. Flip the switch again to application three, and now we're medium temp transcritical with parallel compression as well as uh, multi uh, multi-ejector, high-pressure ejectors. And then the, the balance of the components, again, to make the point that I uh, don't want anyone to have sticker shock that you need all of this because it's transcritical. Uh, for the system that we have, you'd have about a fourth of what you see here in your control panel. So it'd be a much smaller control panel. And then before we move on, I just wanted to I just wanted to point out if you have questions, if you can put them in the ask question box, so that they're ready to go when we pause every 15 or 20 minutes for our questions. So our selector switch that I mentioned is here. Uh, I've got the unit currently set to uh, parallel compression with multi-ejectors. Again, as I pointed out earlier, the selector switch will let this system manager 800A power up with the pack controller. If we select two, this will power down, this will power up and so on for application three. So that's our power. If we come this way with the close up, this unit is serving two medium temp evaporators in our walk-in box here. And there's a shelf in the walk-in box. If you look here, there's a shelf. We, we use that shelf for a couple of reasons. One, to access the gas cooler, which is beneath it, but we can also open that lid and create false load by discharging gas cooler heat into the walk-in box to keep the system running in cold ambience. Then our next close-up, if we go in front of the system here, just to kind of go over the system layout, these are our two medium temp compressors down here. Then we have two compressors on the left. Those are for parallel compression. Uh, one thing to note on transcritical systems or really any CO2 system, um, you'll typically see a VFD on the lead compressor for each stage. So our medium temp inverter is here. Our parallel compression lead compressor inverter is here. If we come around to the left of the unit, we have our ejector block on this unit. So let's come around to the side. This is our multi-ejector block that we'll discuss later. Don't worry if you're not familiar with it at the moment. Um, the larger, the vessel back here, it's kind of hard to see. This is our flash tank. Uh, it's really just a receiver, but in CO2, uh, you'll learn why we call it a flash tank. To the right of it is our oil reservoir. To the right of the oil reservoir, Kind of like a double-sized Pringles can, this is our oil separator that, that feeds our oil supply to the reservoir. And that's kind of an overview of the system at large. Uh, one last thing to note while we're talking about Big Red in particular, if we get a close-up here, uh, we have three training stations that have all of the components we saw on the control panel earlier. We can get uh, we can get contractors or technicians familiar with our system manager as well as the pack controller the remote display for the pack controller, as well as case controllers. We have three stations like this on the unit. 